In today's video, we visit a desolate region in the vast deserts of Southern California, highlighting four unique places that tell a story about a once prosperous community with dreams of expansion and success. However, what was once a region of excitement and hope has now turned into a vast emptiness of dust and decay. Join us to discover what's left. We start our journey traveling from Los Angeles towards Slab City, which used to be an old marine base, but is now converted into a city of art and a place for people to escape the clutches of society. There is no running water or power here, but the city features a huge artwork monolith called Salvation Mountain, made of local adobe and millions of gallons of donated paint. of fun artifacts here. What'd you find? Found these glasses here. What do you think, Adam? It's, uh, it's like a, you're not expecting to find this out in the middle of the Colorado desert. I know, well that's, I guess that's what everybody's thinking. Yeah. Any other thoughts? It's a lot of colors. <laughs> I think the colors are awesome. They are, they are pretty awesome. It's like, a rainbow. It's just like a rainbow. Leaving Slab City behind, we make our way along the mysterious coast of a sea that shouldn't be there. The Salton Sea was accidentally created in 1905 when spring flooding overwhelmed the capabilities of the canal that controlled the Colorado River and for two years flooded the Salton Sink Basin. After this incident, businesses and government saw an opportunity to build up resorts and communities around the area with the promise of a pristine paradise in the desert. However, after many years of the era's mismanagement policies, rising salinity levels, and pollution from farm runoff, it has now become an abandoned, otherworldly wasteland of toxic dust, rusted remains, and strange art surrounded by a pungent smell that reminds you of how polluted this toxic sea is. Anybody know what this is? They're doing a little music video back there, if you can see. Pretty cool. I don't want to, we don't want to get in their business, but that looks like a cool little art music project they do. After exploring the beach for a bit, it was getting late and we wanted to find a place to camp out. So we left in search of a campsite because we found out about a unique hike that we wanted to do the next morning. We attempted to find a spot near the sea, but the smell of the air was just way too strong for us to deal with for hours on end. So we set off towards some BLM land near Joshua Tree, not knowing what it had in store for us when we got there. I think that's this is home sweet home. We yeah. got all these rocks that we can use to weigh the tent down. What's inside this rock? This is a cool one. Representative of our camp has some green, has some uh, looks like cords there. I think this is a good rock for our camp. Rock number two. Rock two. Black one or another cool green one. Black one. Black one. Ugh. All done. We're about to rock it out. Corner. 
corner, and then just like a square corner, corner. Basically, we want to stretch it out so we get four corners. Okay. Oh, it smells new. Breaking it in, first time. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, man. I'm not fucking around, man. We need enough rocks. <laughs> we'll grab some more, okay? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! We got fucking it. did it! We got it up. We just need to secure a couple more lines on the back so it doesn't blow away. Just this other side. Okay. To like pull it out. Okay. Any more rocks? We don't have to worry about horse flies. Holy shit, I know, right? We got grilled chicken that he made the night before, and we're about to make some Spanish rice. After waking up from a restless night of sleep due to unexpected high winds in the desert mountains, we set off for our hike at 4 a.m. towards the mountains of Mecca Hills Wilderness Area to see Painted Canyon, a geologic wonderland. That sandstone is absolutely beautiful. have so long here before it heats up. It's gonna be a hot one today. In case nobody knows where they're going, there's a giant arrow made out of rocks pointing to the right direction. We gotta go into here? Yeah, we gotta get, go up that. What? Yeah. Holy shizny. That looks fun, doesn't it? Yeah, let's see if I, I'm glad I brought my fucking grippers here. I knew something was up. Let's do this. Wow. There's no easy peasy way down this, homie. As you can see, I have one foot here and another foot here. We gotta go down. This lighting is amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, oh wow. This is really a huge ladder, huh? These ladders are kind of sketchy. I don't know how old these are. They're steel better than wood. Locked in. Although this desert region of Southern California is often forgotten about 
It's important to realize the mistakes of the past and see the results of what can happen with severe mismanagement. The Salton Sea is most likely beyond the point of no return and is an environmental disaster. As toxic dust levels increase and the sea slowly dries up, it will be a challenge to deal with this issue in the not so distant future. Despite this, there is no denying how there is a sort of strange artfulness to this place with the way life has moved on and with a sort of resiliency. I think there is beauty to be found everywhere and it's important to try to find beauty and remain hopeful even in the bleakest of situations. Got it done. Thanks for joining us on our adventure, our quest in the Salton Sea, Slab City, Bombay Beach, and finally the Painted Canyon hike. It's been a lot of fun. It's getting pretty hot out, but until then, we'll catch you out on the trail next time.